Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mob. We're back with our Pokemon, the training card game online. Let's take, let's take a quick peek at our uh, daily quest for today. And it is still the same one. Put 15 evolution fire cards in play. Yeah, very close to finishing that off. Um, I've been doing a little bit of off grinding on the trainer challenges. We've gotten 5 out of 7 of these done. And check this out. We have finished up all the stars on Zack, if you get all the way up to um, four stars, you unlock a pack. So let's go ahead and open up one of our packs that we've obtained here. I held off on opening them up so we can open them up here. So how do I do this again? Oh my god, not this again. No, 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 it's going to be in <laughs> collection collection and packs. Yeah, there you go. So we have uh, two packs to open up. We have um, this legendary one, this is a 10 pack, and we have a five card one. So let's offer the five card one. We'll open this up. And I think we're going to be doing a mix of, you know, trainer battles, NPC battles, and PvP in every episode. It'll, it'll be fun to mix it up, have a little basic one to, to, to uh, warm up, and then finish it off with an awesome PvP one. With, if I have any packs, I'll open them up at the beginning. So we'll, we'll, we'll kind of have some sort of, um, what do I call it, some sort of structure going on here. Where it's uh, packs, if I have any. Packs, uh, basic NPC battle, and then boom, PvP to satisfy everyone's needs so let's see what we got here look at that um four new cards four new cards let's check them out we got regular machop 7 hp knuckle punch interesting knuckle punch just poof just bang on the face then we got a clauncher i've never seen this pokemon before so a flip a coin of heads is now paralyzed and crab hammer not bad i feel like this pokemon might evolve and we got shroomish i might have it but we have a new version of it tackle and uh, we have a Tyrant, which we have already. And Magmotar evolves from Magmar. When the heck did they add an evolved form for Magmar? My god, I'm so behind. So this is new. Um, Flame Charge. Search your deck for a fire energy and attach it to this card. That's it. It does damage and you search for it. My god. And Twin Burst. If elect uh, Electivire? Electivire is on your bench, this attack does 80 more damage. Electivire. That's the, um, that must be the evolved form of Electrobuzz, correct? I feel like that is. So look at that. It's, it's a combo. You have to have two to, to get the most out of this. Pretty freaking sweet, man. And let's open up this other pack. So yeah, I'm not going to open up like 20 packs in an episode anymore because that took like, I literally took half an hour. I think that's what the episode length was. So we're going to be sticking with this. It's, it's going to be great. So I hope you guys enjoy the layout. Like I said, packs, if I have any, straight into one NPC battle to freshen up and then straight into PvP, whether it be one of my custom decks or structure decks. Hey, at least we're going to be playing a human who actually knows what they're doing for the most part. For the most part, the first PvP we had, we wrecked that guy hard. <laughs> but it was, you know, it's most likely because I got better draws and I guess the RNG was in my favor. So here we go. So this is going to be a 10 pack. Can't wait to see what we get. I'm not sure if there's any way for me to know exactly how much of each, uh, you know, how much of each card I have collected in a single pack. Like if it tells me, oh, you've collected 40% of the cards in this pack, so you don't have to buy them anymore. I seriously doubt it. They want people to buy it, right? So they're gonna be like, oh, I don't know if I have everything. I better buy like 20 to make sure. And you got like maybe like one new card and that's it, and then you don't know what's taking so long for this to um to freaking unpack. My God. I mean, it's loading the assets, I guess. It be this better be worth it. This better give me a super crazy EX Pokemon. I'm I want a crazy uh, Charizard. Do have they added any like Mega Evolution stuff to the trading card game online? That's one thing I absolutely have no clue of. I hope my game didn't freeze. I don't think it did because you can see the little thing here moving. Still like oh, which move and what's taking so long? Okay, guys. Um, go, uh, go drag, uh, grab a drink of water. You can uh, fast forward this video if you want. I'm gonna sit here just to show you guys how much you have to wait. Um, because I feel like if I quit the game now and go back in, the pack is either gonna revert until it opened, or it will go. It will. It will be totally disappeared, and all of my cards will go straight in to my collection and I won't know what I've attained so what the fuck I don't think I disconnected from the internet ah! okay 
Well, this is something that happened. Alright, let's restart it. As much as I don't want to restart it, let's do this. Nice background, huh? Cool brick stuff. Anyway, here we are. Jesus, the Pokemon Cup gang gang after time. Oh my god. Alright, let's, uh, hopefully I get to open the pack again. And this is the horrors of live recording. Oh. Well, with my Pokemon videos, I never ever usually edit it. It's, it's you know, it's pretty simple because it's not like I'm playing like Call of Duty or something where I need to edit it like crazy. It's just simply me and the game and you guys and all that stuff. So let's see if I can open it again. No. Nope. It's, the, the Pokemon cards are now in my deck. I mean, they're in my collection. I don't know what I got. Ah, oh, that really sucks. Um, filter by, is, can I filter by new cards? My new cards? No. Of course not. So I don't know what I got out of that pack. Maybe that pack actually broke or something like that. G to the freaking G, man. Alright, well, I apologize for that little hiccup. Wait, w let me look around and let me see if it does indeed say new. Probably won't. Girder. This one hasn't loaded yet, so they probably have that one as a new Pokemon, huh? This one hasn't loaded either. So this one probably is evolving. This I, Let's see. Mindfu. Mianchu. So yeah, probably those ones, right? Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's these ones. So let's, let's just screw it. Let's go straight into a trainer fight so you guys can see what's going on. Now I need to do another red one so we can finish off our uh, thing. We'll do. We'll fight with Mick. Fire on fire. Let's do this, Mick. So after this, I don't know if I'm gonna win or lose. But we're playing on a medium stadium, by the way. I learned because I've been playing on easy when fighting these NPCs. I learned that. You know, playing on medium or harder is way better because, you know, not only do you actually have a battle going on here, but you get more of a experience multiplier when you're done. Meaning, hey, I'm not going to get 800 points. I'm going to get 1,200 or 1,600 points, that sort of thing. All right. Whoa, Volcarina. So uh, let's just talk about what the heck's going on here. I have a Vulpix and a Ninetales, two Pokemon only. I have an Ultra Ball, but that means I have to get rid of two cards. I might not want to do that. Got another card, Eradicate. Useless as fudge. All right, so we got a Darukuma, who is a... Ooh, he's going to probably burn me next turn. I could probably burn him. Uh, which is nice, though, because I can evolve into Ninetales the next turn. If he decides to burn me, I can get rid of it. He has a good amount of Pokemon, too. Three Growlithe. Holy crap. Three Growlithe. And another uh, Darumaka. So if I want to use a Great Ball, I'm going to have to discard two cards. I might want to discard Raticate. I really don't like Raticate. Horrible, horrible card. This version, anyway. Alright, so Singe, don't need to flip. Automatically burned. It will end the turn, and he takes some damage there. Thank God. Took uh, two damage. So, I hope he burns me. That'll be much more easier. Oh my God, he's evolving. It's Arcanine! Holy shit. He got rid of his Singe. He's activating Fire Fang, and no matter what, I get burned. Alright, this is good for me. Because, oh my god, I got burned. So I took 40 damage. That's fine. I'm going to evolve into Nine Tails right away. And it's going to get rid of the burn because I evolved. And I'm going to use a special ability to switch his Pokemon out with, um, let's see here. What do I want to kill? Well, let's destroy his little, let's destroy one of the, uh, I probably should have killed this one. Larvista. But we'll go ahead and fight the Growlithe and knock him out. Well, not knock him out, just hit him for 20. So Ninetales only does extra damage if the Pokemon is inflicted with a special condition, a la Poison, uh, Sleep, which did nothing happens. He's using Stoke here. If he gets a head, he gets to grab a free fire and attach it to this Pokemon, which he did. So next turn, he'll be able to fire breathe me. Mm, I can die next turn. This is the thing. I can die. So we're going to Great Ball and discard two cards. One, two, and we're going to get one Pokemon. Oh, I don't know which Pokemon. You know, it's going to be really hard to obtain both, you know, uh, a basic in a stage one and a stage two. So let's go for, uh, you know, one of the strongest basics we have, which is Turquoil. Let's do it. And we'll start putting, uh, put him on the bench and we'll start putting energies on him. It's going to be really hard to deal with his Pokemon, but we'll try our hardest here. Bam. Let's do this. And summoning... Fire breathing, good. Does not do 20 more damage. So I have a total of 60 damage. 30 damage left on my good old Pokemon. But I'll be able to knock him out in two more turns. Ugh. Uh, anyway, Turquoil. There you go, buddy. I like how Ninetales is very low maintenance, but he's also very weak. This particular card. I hope there's more versions of her with, with more HP 
and more of a basic, uh, you know, just a more, more basic damage. So that's, uh, that's pretty high up. So Torchic, it's fine. Let's put the energy on Turquoil, and there we go. We, first kill of the game here, guys. We got it. Um, please give me a Combuskin. That'd be great. Energy. Yeah, I mean, can't complain. So, uh, since we unlock some, what's this? Pokemon Center. Once during each of our turn, we can heal up to 20. Really? All right. Oh, that's from his or her benched Pokemon. Oh. You know what? Let's do that. We'll retreat. Well, what's the retreat cost? It's one. That's perfect. Hey, one. Who gives a crap? So we'll retreat. Get Torquoil out. Now we can heal it using the Stadium card. Oh, thank you so much, Mick. I like how the Stadium card pertains to both players. It's not like oh, you know, super crazy OP. Actually, we won't even put an energy on her. No need to. And then we'll go ahead and heat blast this guy. It's gonna take three turns. He has unfortunately a lot of health. Um, and I got burned. Remember, if anyone attacks Arcanine with any sort of damage, they get burned automatically. And we went ahead and took some damage. Um, backwards. It sucks. Kane, let's just grab three energies and put them in your deck. That's not good for me. That's not. That's really not good for me. <sighs> All right. I got burned again. Turquoise. Wowie, wowie. Taking the damage, huh? Oh, not good. All right, I guess we'll start putting some stuff on Torchic and stuff. You gotta heat blast him. Wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? Heal him. Of course. Now I could probably switch back, but this is gonna take two, so I don't think I even want to. We're going to heat blast him again. So this freaking Arcanine needs one more damage. Oh my god, I'm taking so much hits here. It doesn't matter. Oh no, I got knocked out. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's pretty bad. That's that's so unfortunate. I should be able to take out his Arcanine though. Yeah. Oh, no. He's healing 30. All right. Maybe uh, that's not going to be the case here. Dang it. Ninetales is too weak to take him out with only 20 damage. He's at a super odd to grab any three, you know, any combination of energies and Pokemon and put him into his deck and do it. And the random receiver draw until he gets a supporter, which you got Karn. He's going to activate it next turn to get three more energies. There's a Tepig here. And I guess we'll Hex Flame. And you know what? You got to do damage. That's as shitty as we're doing. We have to do some sort of damage. He has 20 health left. If I can survive one more turn, that'd be nice. But I'm, I, he has more energy for fire spin now. That's it's, it's horrible. Oh, shit. All right, so hopefully he flips a coin. Anyway, it's Tails. So Nine Tails knocked the fuck out. And Tails, that's good. Discard two energies. Get rid of all the energies that we can. So I'm a little bit behind here. But uh, hey. You get what you got, you got what you live. Let's activate my energy retrieval. Grab two of these bad boys. And and one more to Torchic. If only he didn't use that second potion, then he wouldn't have the health to survive this. But looking at how it is, it, it, it <laughs> we're probably gonna lose, guys. Like no joke. I just hope that we have put enough you know, fire Pokemon on the field to satisfy my daily quest, which was, um, I don't know, evolve the Pokemon and whatnot. We only put like one evolved Pokemon, huh? So I don't think, I don't think that's the case. Anyway, hit him. He's not dead. Nope, nope. He has one more health left. This freaking Arcanine. I effectively killed myself. So yeah, well, not really. I burned. Tepig, I choose you. We're gonna get knocked out here. Like, absolutely no joke. Knock me out, bro. What are you waiting for? This Arcanine is so strong. This is exactly why I, like, I love fire decks. I like burn the crap out of them. But I think I'm look. I'm feeling like uh, you know, once I get 500 tokens, I want to get something in the form of uh, I don't know, maybe uh, oh my god, I can't do a damn thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't like water Pokemon. I don't like grass Pokemon. In you know, in, in this card game, I love grass Pokemon. No, don't get me wrong. I, I I'm a Bulbasaur picker. I like picking Bulbasaur, but. It's either gonna be a fire deck, um, a heart. Was it a heart deck? I don't know. I forget. I keep forgetting what the name of that is. Uh, you know those types of decks that use that thingy. Rat hat. Really? Rat hat's so shit. I right, burn him again for no reason. Yeah. Fire hearts or lightning. Maybe I'll get like the newest one because you know I I believe they add. And hey, we got fire spin. They should be adding lots of. Um, Lots of packs periodically. I guess I'll get one of the newest elemental ones just to maybe hopefully get a leg up on the competition. And because, you know, I can use those new ones in structure decks, I hope. 
Heads. God dang it. Dude, we lost. <laughs> oh my fuck. We couldn't even kill his Arcanine. He has healed so much. Uh, speaking of heals, that's three potions. He's healed a total of 90 damage on his Arcanine. We just got wrecked. We got killed by NPC. If I remember, he has medium difficulty, but whatever. He is stupid, Mick. Uh, hey, we finished it. We got 50 Pokemon coins. Hell yeah. Oh, that's so good. And we, I think we should be getting a new daily quest or something like that. So all we got was the tokens. So uh, daily quest. Check this out. Put 20 basic... Uh, what are these? Uh, psychics. That's good. Hey, 20 basic psychics. That's great. We have a freaking... Oh, what's this? Hard is better. Uh, medium. New to Pokemon TCG. See, you can do versus mode all you want. Oh no, wait, wait, that doesn't matter. Okay, theme. Theme deck. I'm gonna play with the theme deck because we have our mental might. This is this is perfect for our daily challenge. Let's check out what we got. So, okay, 18 energies, hard charm, Pokemon Center, fan club, Tierno, Evo one Evo Soda, Escape Rope. Escape Rope, each player switches Pokemon with the bench one. Huh. Eh, it's interesting. All escapes, Professor's Letter, Fufrao. Two Fufrals, two Milk Tanks, two Hoot Hoots, Delcaddy, Skitties, Gallade, Kirla. So our, our strongest Pokemon is going to be Gallade here. We have two of them. Strong. Kirlia, Ralts, two Golettes, two Subats, and two and three Woobats. All right, this is our deck. Let's have some PvP fun. And uh, wish me luck, guys. Okay. I'm going to die. Uh, one reason why I just don't... You know, I'm, I'm not that, you know, up to the challenge for PvP all day, every day. is just because sometimes they take too long. <laughs> it's the reason with Hearthstone and all that stuff. Oh, crap. She has a cool coin. Would you like to go first? Uh, no. Nope. You go first. So I can attack if I can. So let's see. Since I'm going to hopefully attack first. Look at that dual draw. Ugh. Who, who does it evolve? Well, I don't have I mean, I don't have his evolved form. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to put Fru Fru on the field. Let's do this. I know we need to put down Psychic Pokemon, but we also want to win, right? All right, so let's put the rest of these. Actually, we'll keep Hoo Hoot up here. I don't, I don't care about Hoo Hoot. I really don't want my opponent to draw two cards. <gasps> Look at that. Uh, I wonder if they're using the same deck I am. No, he has a Skarmory, a Jatini, a Voltorb. So you remember, these Pokemon, these Pokemon battles that we're having here in the themed deck version should be pretty balanced meaning like it's it's made to play at a competitive level with an even playing field it's taking forever to load their cards here Th these are the first time that I'm seeing these cards even though we've seen like I don't know a strategy before this is probably a new version of it so hopefully it loads quicker it's taking a long time I don't know why but yeah just remember the, the opponent is taking their time here, and that's why they're thinking about it. Maybe, maybe she's taking so long because she's a... Uh, what the fuck is this? Trainer's Mail. Look at the top four cards. You may reveal a trainer card and put it into your hand. That's an item, so that means I can use it. I can use the uh, Tierno if she wants, which is great. Okay, Trainer Mail. That's pretty interesting. For some reason, I thought it was like Mail Mail, like uh, Armor Mail. So using uh, Great Ball, Dragonair. Oh, man, she knows what she's doing. This Reno Alchemist chick knows what she's doing. Look at that. Grass. This is a grass deck. Gra grass and electric, it looks like. They got a Voltorb here. And a Dratini. Dratini. Look at... Whoa, Dratini is, has this on it. Whoa, this is interesting. That's so crazy. All right. So... Huh. guess we'll start with uh, getting Fru-Fru as freaking buffed up as possible. And we'll end our turn. Ugh. Skarmory is on the field. I'm assuming she's using Skarmory to probably um, stall the deck, right? To stall it until she gets uh, her awesome Dragonair ready to go. She's going to get Slam ready. She's Professor's Letter, so she should have enough energy. Uh, let's get Tiaran on the field. Alright. Droughts is great. We'll energy this up. And, well, let's just try to get ahead in Pokemon prizes. I mean, more prizes, more cards. It doesn't matter if he's paralyzed or not. He doesn't have an energy on him. He's, she's going to keep putting stuff on Dratini. So Dratini now has three energies. <laughs> Enough for the slam. Two coins. I remember t 
two coins. That means she has a chance to hit 0, 60, or 120. It's really scary. So I'm going to activate Tier and again. Three more cards. We got a Wubat on the field to Swubat. Wonderful. That's great. And we're going to Great Ball it up. Five top, uh, pick up the top seven. We get to use, uh, find any Pokemon we want, put it to the field. I am going to grab Curlia. Now, I, I, oh, Gallade is one of the cards coming up, but I think we're going to be shuffling the deck. But anyway, we're going to grab Curlia. We, we need to upgrade our Ralts, absolutely. And we need to start buffing one of these Pokemon up. Uh, we'll probably just stick with the Fru Fru. Sharp Fang it up here. And kill this guy as quick as possible. Um, now, if Fru Fru gets knocked out, because most, uh, most certainly he can. Whoa! She added another energy on this Pokemon, meaning, hey, she has a Dragon a Dragonite or something like that, or she's expecting a Dragonite. This is actually really scary. So we use a professor's letter, grab two energies, and start buffing up one of these Pokemon. Subat does not evolve anymore, so maybe this might be the one. Uh, Heart Staff is kind of shit. Um, energy Gift might be the way to go. Energy Gift might be the way to go. Look at that. Energy Gift might be the way to go. It's, it's either, do I want... Okay, I'm going to attack him, absolutely. But do I want to start putting them on Subat or Curlia? Oh, man. I... I Okay, well, I'll put one. I'll just go with Curlia. We're doing that. All right. So, goodbye, Skarmory. We're going to get our first kill. Great. And here comes the Dragonair. Is it going to be a Dragonite, everybody? Is it going to be a Dragonite? Yeah, Zapdos on the field. Whoa. Zapdos. This deck is insane. Lightning and Grass. So, Slam. Okay. Miss. And a miss. Oh, yeah. Chance to do zero damage, guys. Perfect, perfect. Oh, what a wonderful day this is. Oh, G to the G. Now, she can easily kill me next turn. So, here's the deal. If this guy absolutely misses, I'll only get one heads. No more energies. No more energies on her field. Look at it. None on the bench and none in her hand. Well, I'm assuming none in her hand or she would have preemptively put it down. So, come on. Oh, oh, baby. Are you kidding me? Okay, hit me. Hit me 60. That's fine. For, for Frau, you strong, man. You strong. All right, I am going to, I'm going to put more on Curlia because the more energies, the more draws. More draws equals more win. So goodbye. Sharp Fang, we took out her dragon there with two hits. She used four energy on this Pokemon. She was really hoping to get that Dragonite. Just didn't happen. It just didn't happen. So unless she gets some sort of trainer cards like Professor's Letter or something like that, she's not going to have any energy until, well, she picked one up, but that's pretty much it. So she's trying to uh, get the Zapdos rearing and ready to go, but... Well, lo and behold, Gallade has arrived. Oh my god, Gallade has arrived. Boom! Now, we have three on her. We don't need to add any more. Uh, 20 mind attach all your Pokemon. Powerful Storm is great. Alright, so let's keep putting energies down. Oh god, I don't know what I want to put down next. Okay, we'll put down Fru Fru. Uh, Fru Fru, put this down. And attack. So, check this out. Powerful Storm on Gallade does 20 damage number of all energies attached to every single one of my Pokemon. So if I put like five energies on, on my bench, it's insane. All right, I'm not going to put a hard charm. I'm going to put hard charm on Gallade. Are you kidding me? I'm putting that on Gallade. So this Executor, I won't be able to kill. Uh-oh, look at that. She's getting uh, more stuff on this guy. <sighs> Gallade has enough health with the hard charm to absolutely tank whatever Zapdos it has is I, if I can keep on uh oh TR no she's gonna get another energy for sure hopefully hopefully not no energy huh my god we are in the clear okay so let's see I'm gonna upgrade the skitty to Del Caddy that's wonderful but yeah the more energies the freaking better man the more energies the better I can uh, retreat it's a free retreat card I did not see that oh no it's one if it's free, okay, if it's one retreat, do I want to go back? Okay, here's the deal. So, this does two the amount of all your Pokemon. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, times two, 160. Jesus, monkeys. Well, I'm going to be using a retreat to bring out the Gallade. So, I'm. this is 100 damage right here with the powerful storm, right? Wait, wait, so uh, I'm dumb. Let me do the math. One, two, three four five six seven seven times two 140 we do 140 damage we can take out zapdos with one freaking hit oh my god this is amazing 
So, let's just go ahead and powerful summon try it out here. 140, like I said, 140 damage. What an amazing card. Galade is strong as a mofo. Oh, look at that, 30 health. This little Shed Ninja here. I know Shed Ninja is one of those cards in the, I'm sorry, one of those Pokemon in the Pokemon trading, in the, uh, in the Pokemon game who like, can su just survive as long as he can. Oh man, cursed rain. So let's go ahead and just wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We have to make sure we win. This person has been utterly. Uh, we we messed up. Screwed with energy, and that's you know that that's just how you win. So boom, another 140. Goodbye. Don't even need to use swift lunge. We've got this in the bag. Oh man, I don't even know what I was worried about. As long as we can play these theme decks, hey, it, it's it's on even playing field. It's all about who's got the better draws, and well, we're lucky here. Oh, Wormpole. Yeah, this, this this chick, man, hasn't been lucky with the Zapdos at all. No, it's it's over. We got a second Zapdos, however. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to uh, grab another Professor's Letter. Give me more energy. More energy. Thank you for that. So now we do freaking 160 damage. Goodbye, Wormpole. My god, that's freaking 2.5 the times damage of his health. Oh, bring out your Zapdos. You, you know you want it. Just bring out the Zapdos. Oh, GG. She's hoping she'll grab a, an energy card. Nope. GG. G to the G. Not the drill pack. It got reduced. Insult to injury. Here we go. And boom. 180 damage. Taking out Zapdos. One shot. But boom. Galley takes out a legendary. And looks like we have won. Won our PvP match of the day, guys. What have we gotten on the wheel? Give me that Pokemon. Whatever. Just, I would love anything better than one Pokemon Trader token. So, thank God. Woo! And that only went up like one or two. Because <laughs> we did, we only played like a couple of, of them. So, we got a Game Advantage Upset Reward. Expert Matchmaking. Expert Matchmaking. Mac, uh, expert Matchmaking Reward. Are we like set on Expert or something? What's going on? Bonus wheel, DD PvP game, we did it guys. Oh, easy peasy, get out of here. First upset, congratulations. You just won a game against someone who was favored. You get a two bonus traded tokens for doing that. So they got favored. Psh, easy, are you kidding me? They're just lucky I haven't been playing PvP from the start. <laughs> so we're gonna keep going um, using our mental mites to uh, defeat these guys and do whatever. So I'm gonna have to end it. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. For those few of you who actually do watch my Pokemon series, I just want to say thank you so much. I'm having a blast with this game. I hope you're liking the format. Remember, it's gonna be open packs if I have any. One regular trainer NPC match and straight to PvP. Mixing it up every single time so thanks and i'll see you guys next time